Hi guys and welcome back to our tree preschool. Last time we talked about our bodies, our head and shoulders, knees and toes and anything in between. And as I said, today we're gonna focus on this part. Our head, our face and all the stuff on it. So let's, let's look at it for a sec. What do we have on our face? This is gonna be our model, okay? So she has two eyes that help her see. She's got one, two, two ears to help her hear. One nose to help her smell. One mouth to help her eat and taste and stick out a tongue at you. <clears throat> tongue, thank you. That one's for tasting, right? Okay, what are the other parts on her face? What are those? Those are cheeks. Yes, they are. Those are cheeks. And one chin, forehead, and two eyebrows. Can you make a really serious face with your eyebrows? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> What's really awesome about the face is it can tell other people how you feel, right? So let's see, <clears throat> we're gonna play a little game. You can play with us. We're gonna be super happy. There you go. We're gonna be super sad. She makes a really good sad face, doesn't she? Okay, we're gonna be angry. <laughs> That's awesome. We're gonna be surprised. See? And you can say all that from this beautiful little face. Well, now we're gonna read a book about one part of the face that we didn't really discuss. It is a tiny part of her nose. It's one and two, I'm not touching, two <laughs> holes in her nose. Let's read the book. The Holes in Your Nose by Genichira. The holes in my nose are bigger than hers. But they are not nearly as big as grandpa's. When I'm old, will the holes in my nose be like that? Hm, I can't wait to find out. Holes in the nose come in all different sizes and shapes. Now everybody, look up and show somebody next to you the holes in your nose. You with a mustache, no need to open your mouth. I bet you can see the holes in my nose, even if I do not look up, can't you? <laughs> Almost all animals have two holes in their noses. Elephant, one, two. Turtle, one, two. A horse, one, two. Dog, one, two. Camel, one, two. Wild boar, one, two. But you know what? Some have only one and it's right there. The one hole in dolphin's nose is on top of its head. Hmm. A seal can open up the holes in its nose wide or squeeze them closed. So when it dives under, the water doesn't get in its nose. The hippo, too, can pop open the holes in its nose really wide or snap them shut. Very useful, those holes in the nose. We can make the holes in our noses bigger or smaller too, but only a little. Wanna try? <laughs> yeah? We breathe through the holes in our noses, sucking the air in and pushing it out. This is the most important thing the holes in our nose do. Of course, when we open our mouth, we can breathe through our mouth or noses. What about a hole in the lid of the tea kettle? Does it have a nose hole too? When the holes in our nose get stuffed up, you can smell anything. When the holes in my nose are stuffed up, I can smell ew, ew, fart. Ew, that stink. When the holes in our nose get stuffed up, the words you, words you say become hard to understand. My nose is all stuffed up. It's time for me to go to bed. Good night. When the holes in your nose get stuffed up, it's hard to say mmm and mmm. Hold your nose and try saying Try it! 
pinch your nose and say na 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 yo ma ba me yo hair grows in the holes in our nose nose hair catch tiny bits of dirt from the air you breathe in you don't have to let your nose hair grow as long as this man's not that there's anything wrong with it when large bits of dirt get in your nose you blow them out by sneezing ah, 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 chew! boogers boogers collect in the holes in our noses boogers are like a mixture of dirt and mucus they're like little balls See, we got bits of dirt in the air and mucus. Little by little, they clump together until they are a booger. Boogers are made from dirt, so they are dirty. Even if you line them up so neatly like this, they are still dirty. There is always moisture in your nose, so it's damp inside. When you catch a cold, there's more moisture than usual. It becomes a mucus and drips out. Say, Gorilla, did you know your nose is running? Do you want a tissue? I don't need one. What are you going to do? Let it dry, then pick it off and eat it. Eh, yuck! If you pick your nose too roughly, you can get a nosebleed. <gasps> Look, it's bleeding! Nosebleeds can happen for many reasons, like when you get hit in the nose, ouch! Or even when you do not do anything at all, sometimes it will bleed. Usually a nosebleed will stop if you hold your nose and sit still for 10 minutes or so. And if it doesn't, you should have a doctor look at it. What is the inside of your nose? How does it look like? Hmm, there are two holes in your nose. So the inside of your nose is divided into two all the way back. The inside of your nose and the inside of your mouth are connected connected at the back of your throat. The inside of your nose is full of funny shaped bumps. The air you breathe in passes between those. And when the holes in your nose look like this, it means the end. Look, the skeleton's reading our book. <laughs> Who knew holes in your nose can be so cool, huh? So many cool things we learned from such a little book about such little things. Let's analyze the book a little bit. This one will be a little tricky to analyze, but we're gonna do our best. Well, let's see. Okay, what is the first thing that happens in the book? Do you guys remember how the book starts? What is the boy saying? The holes in my nose are bigger than hers. And then he shows us his grandpa's big holes in his nose. Is everything in the story true in the book or is something made up? Mm. So we have holes in our nose, right? And the animals, that's all exactly true. It's telling us about what's real, but I think there's one thing that is made up. Do you know which one? The gorilla. She does all the stuff that she says she does but do gorillas talk in real life? No, I don't think she could answer the questions herself. Okay, let's see. Are there any characters? Are there characters in the book? Yeah, but we don't know their names. I think the main character is one and two. Two holes in your nose. <laughs> What's your favorite part of the book? I'm the gorilla. You like the gorilla? Yeah, yeah. yeah gorilla is really funny. My favorite part is the gorilla and then the da 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 yo, ba ba boom yo. I like that. Have you tried it? If not, you should try it. It's really fun. Try. Da 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 yo, ba ba boom yo. See? <laughs> the holes in your nose. Who knew? That's it about our book, but would you like to sing a song with us now? We're gonna sing a really fun song today and I'm pretty sure you guys know this one. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. But we're gonna change the emotions a little bit. So if you're happy and you know it, you're gonna clap your hands. If you're gonna be mad and you know it, you're gonna stomp your feet. If you're gonna be sad and you know it, you're gonna touch your nose. 
but then in the end, we're gonna be happy again, and we're gonna shout, hooray! Are you ready to sing with us? Let's do it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're mad and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're mad and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're mad and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're mad and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're sad and you know it, touch your nose. If you're sad and you know it, touch your nose. If you're sad and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're sad and you know it, touch your nose. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! <laughs> Good singing, you guys! We are gonna do one more thing. We're not gonna sing a song. We're gonna play a little game. Have you ever played Simon Says before? Yeah, well, let's do it. Are you ready to play Simon Says? Yeah. Okay, do you guys know the rules? Yeah. Okay, I just make sure everybody knows them. Yeah. So when I say Simon Says, put your hands on your head. What do you do? Okay, what about if Simon Says, put your hands on your knees? Touch your head. No, because I didn't say Simon Says. Haha. <laughs> so you need to listen. When I say Simon Says, you do it. When I do not say it, you don't do it. Are you ready? Okay. Simon Says, touch your ears. Simon Says, touch your nose. Touch your chin. Good, you did it. Awesome. Simon Says, touch your toes. Simon Says, touch your shoulders. Touch your knees. Good listening. Touch your nose. Uh oh, I didn't say Simon says. <laughs> Simon says, touch your belly. Simon says, touch your back. Simon says, touch your forehead. Touch your chin. Good. Touch your cheeks. Oh, almost. I didn't say Simon says. Okay, couple more. Simon says that your eyes. Simon says that your ears. Simon says that your nose. That your mouth. Good. You're good. Awesome. Good job, you guys. Give yourself a hand. <laughs> Let's talk about the shapes a little bit more today. We all already talked about them a bit, but let's just go over them one more time and then we're gonna play a little game. So let's see. Do you know what shape is this one? S square. That's a square. Hmm, do we have a square on the mm -hmm. table? Mm -hmm. That looks like a square to me. So how many sides does a square have? Can you count with me? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four sides. What about corners? One, two, three, four. Four corners. That's our square. I have something very similar here. Rectangle. Do we have a rectangle on the table? Do you see a rectangle, guys? Uh, yep, yeah, right here. How many sides does a rectangle have? One, two, three, four. Huh, it's the same. What about the corners? One, two, three, four. Yep, four again. So what's the difference? Hmm, look at that. Are these sides all the same? Yeah, yeah. and those? No. no. So two are the same and two are the same, but not all four. We have two more shapes. What about this one? That's a triangle, right? T triangle. Let's see. Is this a triangle? 
No. <laughs> no, that's silly. Is this a triangle? Yep. Is it a triangle if I put it like this? Is it a triangle if I put it like this? Yeah. If I do this? Yep. If I do that? Still a triangle, huh? Okay. How many sides? One, two, three. One, two, three. How many corners? One, two, three. Huh. Three sides, three corners. That had four sides, four corners. Interesting. And the last one. Circle. This one is a circle and it must be this. How many sides do we have on a circle? One. And it keeps going and going and going, huh? It doesn't end. How many corners? Do we see a corner? I don't see a corner. Nope, no corners. So we have a circle, a triangle, and we have a square and a rectangle. And we are going to play game with those shapes, even though they're gonna be smaller. For this game, we're gonna use those tiny little pattern blocks. Look, if you guys have them, get them ready. If you don't have them, it's okay. You can get a piece of paper, pencil, and then whatever we put down, you can mark it, or you can just watch us, that's fine too. Let me show you what we're gonna use, right? Let's see. We have a square and a triangle. And I added some circles. These are the regular counters. If you do not have circles, you can use whatever else you want to. That's a little circle. Maybe a Cheerio, maybe an applesauce stopper, or like a little lid from the bottle or something. Whatever you guys want to, or just cut them out of the paper. So we have squares, triangles, and circles. And we're gonna make a little pattern. So let's see. We're gonna make a simple one first. Square, triangle, square, triangle. What's next? Is it a triangle? No. Let's see. Square, triangle, square, triangle, triangle. That doesn't seem right. Is it a square? Square, triangle, square, triangle, square. That's better. What's gonna be after that? Another square? Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't look right. What about a circle? No, that doesn't look right either. What about a triangle? Square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle. <gasps> That's a good pattern. Okay, let's make a little bit more difficult one. Let's use some of those circles too. Let's do circle, square, circle, circle, square. Huh, what's next? Mm. Circle, square. And then we would go circle, circle, square, circle, square, circle, circle, square, circle, square, circle, circle, circle square. <gasps> okay, one more. We have a square, circle, triangle. And then we're gonna repeat this. So we're gonna have square, then we're gonna have a circle, then, yep, a triangle. And what's next? We go again, square, and then it would be a circle and a triangle. And we're gonna go again and again and again. And now for the game. So we're just gonna use those things, just the squares, triangles, and circles. I am going to make a pattern over here so you guys don't see it. I'm gonna describe the pattern and then let's see if you can make the same thing. So let's make the pattern. You make it at home, I'm gonna make it right here. The pattern is gonna be, uh, a square, circle, square, circle, square, circle. Let's do it again. It's square, circle, square, circle, square, circle. Are you ready? Does your pattern look like this? Square, circle, square, circle, square, circle. You got it? Awesome, let's do one more. I'm gonna break this one and we're gonna do circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle. I'm gonna describe it again. It's a circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle, 
triangle. Hmm, what shapes are you using? No squares in this one. Circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle. Let's look. <laughs> Does your pattern look like this? Circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle. Good. Let's do one last pattern. And this one's going to be tricky. Are you ready? It's going to be square, circle, triangle. Square, circle, triangle. It is square, circle, triangle. Square, circle, triangle. Look at your pattern and look at it again with me. Square, circle, triangle, square, circle, triangle. Let's see. Does it look like this? Square, circle, triangle, square, circle, triangle. <laughs> and just go ahead and play more games. See what other patterns you can make. You can go totally crazy and make a very complicated one. You can make a really long one. So many different options. So go ahead, guys, and play with your patterns and practice, practice, practice your awesome shapes. Oh, look what I made. Now my pattern is house, uh, strawberry bush, house, strawberry bush, house, strawberry bush. Haha, <laughs> what can you make? Are you ready to make some art? Before we start, I want to introduce one more artist. This one is especially famous. His name was Pablo and he made so many amazing paintings that most of the people at the time did not like, but now most of them do. Let me tell you something about him. Let's talk about Pablo Picasso today. His whole name was Pablo Diego José Francisco de Puola Juan Napomuceno Maria de los Remedios Cipriano de la Santísima Trinidad Cruz y Picasso. <laughs> but we're gonna call him Pablo. Both of his parents were artists, so I guess it's no wonder his first word was piss, meaning a pencil. And it's no wonder he started drawing with pencils ever since he could hold them in his hands. But still, it took him quite some time to find his unique style. First, he painted everything blue. <laughs> then, he painted everything red. And then, he came up with cubism. What's cubism? Yeah, well, let me show you. This is Dora. Pablo loved painting Dora. And he would paint her just like this. <laughs> Do you think she liked it? It's like if you took a 3D thing, like the globe, and then you painted it on a flat surface, like the map. <laughs> but somehow you looked through a funhouse mirror while you did it. Pablo would look at all the beautiful features of Dora's face. He would like her eye from looking up front and her mouth from the side and maybe her nails, but you know, not her neck. He would take all the pieces and he would put them apart like pieces of a puzzle and then put them back together. But he would put them together a little differently, <laughs> like this girl or like this one with funny looking eyes and a really sharp nose and really funny looking fingers. <laughs> or like this one. Look at her awesome hair. <laughs> or like this man with a lollipop. One of my favorites. <laughs> Pablo would look at the people from the front and from the side. He would look at them from the top and from the bottom. And then he would put them together just the way he liked. And he didn't really care, they looked different. To him, this was what he was trying to do. And that's what we're gonna try to do today as well. 
<laughs> Did you like his paintings? Aren't those funny? But I love the fact that he was choosing his favorite features from whatever angle he saw and then put them all together to make his paintings super duper unique. And that's what we're gonna do today. So what do we need? You guys need a construction paper. Whatever color you like, that's gonna be your face. So choose wisely. If you don't have this one, watercolor paper is just fine. You can paint it or just keep it white. What else do we need? You can either use Play-Doh if you just wanna play with it today, or you can use the air dry clay. And this one is really cool if you wanna keep it and keep playing with it again and again and again. Because after you make the stuff with the clay, it dries up in one or two days, and then you can go back and paint it if you want to with regular tempera or acrylic paint, and then you can have it forever. So that's totally your call. The Play-Doh is really cool do as well, because then you can do it again and then put it back. And you can do it again and put it back. It always makes something new. So your choice, one of those things. Then the paper, we need a Sharpie or a pencil, or I like Sharpies for this one. Scissors, and then just something to play with, with a play, uh, Play-Doh or clay, okay? So first things first, we need to draw a face. And I don't want to see any eyes or noses or mouth on this one. Nothing, nothing, nothing. For this one, just make a big triangle? No. 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 Uh, square? No, it doesn't sound right. No, is it a circle? I'm getting closer, huh? No. Not exactly. Make it longer. Since oval. Let's make an oval. So we're just going to take our Sharpie, open it, froggy legs, and make a big big oval so we can put our eyes and nose and mouth on it later. Big oval. And that's it. Close your Sharpie quickly before you start drawing the face. Just like this. Just like that. And then we're going to cut it out. So we're going to get our scissors. We're going to be careful so we do not cut our fingers. So be careful too. And just cut, cut, cut your face out. Cut, 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 cut. Be very careful. I don't want you cutting your finger. That would hurt. And when we're done, we're just gonna put it on a table and start having some fun with it. So we're using those mats because it's easier to model on those with our clay than on the table cloth that's keep moving. But I'm gonna put this one next to it and that's gonna be my picture. Ta-da! I'm ready. Let's make a face. This is our face. And this is going to be our eyes, nose, mouth, ears, cheeks, whatever you guys want to. So I'll show you what we're going to do. You can get a mirror. If you have a mirror, that may be a good idea to look at your face and see how your eye or nose or your mouth looks like. And you can look at it from all the different sides as well. See, I took a little piece and I'm making a little ball. Just rolling it like this. Or you can roll it on the mat or on the table. Now, that could be my eye. Or I can take a pencil. Boom. Put it in the middle. And that's my eye. Ha <laughs> looking right at you. You can make different kinds of eyes though. We can make another ball. Just like that. And then we can squish it on one side, make it like a little triangle, and it's like an eye from the side. I can put a little dot in here. And this is the eye from the side. Hmm. I can make a different eye too. I can make it like this, and then I can roll it a little bit and make it nice and flat. I can even cut it with scissors, look at that. You can cut your Play-Doh and make the shape of your eye any way you want to. And maybe put a little circle in the middle. That's another eye. Okay, I don't think I need three eyes, so let's see. What about this? What about this? What about that? He can look any way you want to. He can look the other way. He can look up. <laughs> or he can look down. You can make him look anywhere you want. Ha <laughs> ha. 
and you can keep your spare eyes and nose and mouth here and then you can play with it. You can make him look very, very different. Just don't stick it onto the tape. Don't stick it onto the paper so much because then it will be difficult to oh. remove it. Okay, nose. How does the nose look like? Hmm, I can make like a little snake. You make a snake, you squish it, make a little circle, I'll roll it, roll it, roll it, make a snake. Now we know that our nose has how many holes? Two, one, two. Oh, I like using the pencil. And now I have a nose. I can, oh, that's my eye. I almost missed my eye. I can make a small nose too. I can make a little circle and again like this or like this. And again, one, two. I can squish it on top. I can make a tiny nose. I can save the big nose for later. Hmm. What about a mouth? Should I make a mouth? So again, I'll take a piece of Play-Doh, squish it and make a snake. The snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass. Snake is in the grass. There you think. Thank you. There you go. Okay, now he's not really sure how he likes about how he feels about his mouth if he likes it. He seems to like it. He does not. He's like, I don't know. Should we make him happy? Let's make him happy. <laughs> Is your guy gonna be happy too? Oh, she's got cheeks, very nice. You know what, I'm gonna make eyebrows. Oh, I like the cheeks. Okay. I'm gonna make a snake, long snake. Are you gonna make connected eyebrows? That would make him too mean, wouldn't it? Let's see. Okay, you know what? Whoa, now he's really not happy. Let's see, if I cut it in the middle and make him smile at you, is it better? It's a little better, huh? Maybe I can get my fork and put some lines on the eyebrows, see? Ooh, our little dots are like that. And you can play around with this. You have so many things all around you that can make different lines and textures and stuff. You know what, let me decorate the eye to make it more fun. I like Katie's idea. Ta-da, there you go. That looks better. <laughs> I like the cheeks, I need to do the cheeks too. You know what, I'm gonna make a snake and then I'm gonna turn it into a snail. See what I'm doing right here? Twisting, 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 twisting. And I got one cheek. And I'm gonna make one more. <gasps> We're missing ears and hair. On. We have no hair. Yeah. You're making ears now? Yeah. Very good. And the other cheek is gonna be big. Let's see, a snake. It's gonna twist, 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 twist. And that's a bigger one. Hmm, I think we need hair. I'm gonna get a pretty big chunk for this one, bigger. Let's see, let's measure. Yeah, that's good. That's about the size of our head. And I'm going to roll it just a little bit so it's not so fat. And you know what? I'm gonna cut his hair now. Cut, cut, cut. Careful, don't cut your fingers and don't cut it all the way. Well, it's Play-Doh. If you cut it all the way, you can always fix it. I like your ears. Thank you. Oh, I got my hair. I like your hair and cheeks. Oh, thank you. And ears, it's time for ears. So let's see, we're gonna make one big ball for the ears. Squish it, squish it, squish it, squish it. And let's draw the ear on it. Ooh. Look in the mirror to see how your ear looks like. See, that is gonna be my ear. That's my ear right here. And let's see how your ear looks like. Hmm, okay, okay. So we're gonna make a circle and squish it a little bit more. Make it like an ear. And this time 
I'm going to make a little snake. Are you making hair? Yeah. Oh, she's going to be braiding for you. Look at that. Very cool. I'm going to make a snake. And pizza cutter. Boom. And let's decorate the ear on the outside and decorate the ear in the inside and decorate it all over. Haha, <laughs> that's my ear. I think I need an earring on there. What do you think? Yeah, totally. Totally, huh? Totally. 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 So let's cut it. A squish. Look at that squish. Oh, it's sticky. And fork. Bum. A little texture on my earring. Hmm. Let's see. I can put a different nose on him. I can put a big one. I can do the eye from the side. I can do this one or that one. <laughs> I like this. Should I make him frown? Nah, he's happy. <laughs> and that's it. Oh, we got a braid over there. Awesome. So you go ahead and you play with your faces. And then if you make it out of clay, wait a little bit and then paint them so that they're even more fun. And if you make the eyes, make more than two, make three, four, five, six, seven. You can paint them different colors. Yeah. You can do the different kind of hair. You can do one of this and one of that because then you can go and you can mix and match. Look at that. Ta-da! And I'm gonna borrow your eyebrow. Ho oh, ho ho. And I'm gonna borrow your ear. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there you go. We can even combine it like that. Oh, I need one more cheek though. I was going to change the uh, I was gonna change your hair. Were you? <laughs> Ta-da! Go have fun and make some funny faces. And that's it for today. We did so much today. We made the funny faces. We learned about Pablo. We made some patterns, sang some songs, played Simon Says. So many things. Did you guys have fun? I hope you enjoyed it. Well, next time we're still going to talk about our bodies, but we're going to talk about what happens when we get hurt. When we fall and skin our knee or, you know, do something like that. I'm pretty sure it happened to you, right? I know it happened to me many times. So we're gonna discuss that tomorrow or the day after or whenever you guys watch the next video. So I will see you next time and have fun, go play and enjoy hopefully a beautiful day.